Which is the lucky one? This one right here. It's this one. All right. All right. This is the lucky one. Oh my. Oh, oh my. Well, now it it needs a little glue. And I'm looking at this whole little band here. It's like the Salvation Army band. Oh, it is the Salvation Army band. Oh, you're $9.99 though. I don't need you for $9.99 though. As much as I do really, really, really want you. Hello, beautiful. Tell me more about you. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. You know what those are in the back of my car? Boxes. I am going to think positive and I am going to start packing up my house. I'm just going to do it. I am going to manifest this next move because this next move is going to be the last move. It is. I'm done. I'm done moving. This is it. Super exciting stuff. I did go look at a house. Just cross fingers. Cross fingers. Say a prayer for me if that's what you do. Uh, that this is the one and that this is my forever home. And I will definitely keep you posted. I will keep you posted. Uh, but so uh, the good thing is that I work at a thrift store and everything comes in uh, in boxes. So I should have no problem uh, with moving boxes this time. So I'm going to start filling them. I'm just going to start doing it. All right. But before I start doing any packing, of course, I am at Goodwill. And I am going to go see what goodies. Now the new color starts today. So there will be a whole new color of 50% off items. And we're going to see if there's any goodies for resale. Well, let's get in here. Let's get shop done. All right. Let's go in first things first. And find us a lucky cart. Which is the lucky one? This one right here. It's this one. All right. All right. This is the lucky one. Purple. All right. There we go. All right. I love that this store, you just like go right to the tchotchkes. They're just right here waiting to be shopped. Chive.com. So I looked up this brand with the, a couple of videos ago, I bought a bird in the same kind of bisque matte white and it had this Chive.com and it's actually kind of a bougie brand. Uh, they sell for good money. Now this isn't like a super exciting piece and it's not priced. So if they'll sell it to me for a buck or two, I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. These guys are kind of cute. Are they cherished teddies? They're not even cherished teddies. Not even cherished teddies. I do see a Betsy Clark. I have another Betsy Clark. I could sell with this one and purple is the half price. So this little Betsy Clark would only be $1.50. I don't see any damage. Let's go ahead and grab that. What would this have held? I may have looked at this piece before the last time I was here. I'm still kind of trying to figure out what what is his purpose in life? Because I don't know. I don't know what it is. I used to pick all of these up. They don't sell as well as they used to. They're little um, Kathleen's critters. This guy is kind of fun though with his all of his little handyman stuff. It's four bucks, so I think we'll we'll leave him. Well that is Cinderella, isn't it? What's missing though? I feel like Cinderella had something 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 else happened with Cinderella, so we'll let somebody else figure that one out. Little giraffe guy, but he is three bucks. cute little kissing couple. He is purple. Oh yeah, I looked at this last time I was here too. And it's been a while since I've been here, so stuff has uh, just not found a home. What is that? What is that? I mean, it's like a rock, but it's a DK. I don't even know what... Oh, apparently somebody's uh, little sculpture, sculpture project. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh my. Well, now it it needs a little glue. It's super heavy. 
and uh, apparently the pieces come apart. My bad. In all fairness, that would have happened to anybody that tries to pick that up. Who makes you? That is signed. P.R.T. Wiley, 2004. For $7.99. It's very abstract and simple and modernist. I think we'll grab that. And I'm looking at this whole little band here. It's like the Salvation Army Band. Oh, it is the Salvation Army Band. Selling in Goodwill. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. Let's see. Who makes you guys? Oh, $20. 20 are you $20 a piece? You are, I think. She's $12.99. Yeah, they're basically all priced individual. Hmm. Yeah, we can't do that, but that's awful cute. And kind of ironic that they ended up at the Goodwill instead of the Salvation Army. How do you, how do you justify that one? Oh, there's a Disney ornament. Sorcerer's Apprentice. I didn't end up having my Disney sale. Uh, the other night. I just wasn't feeling up to it and uh, I didn't push myself. So he is in there. Oh, is he missing a hand? See, this is where it's good. It's good to look because he is missing a hand. Just diverted a disaster there. And he's $5.99. I bet they didn't realize he's missing a hand. Who makes you? You are... Ceylon tea from Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Is it Sri? It's Sri Lanka, right? I have a big elephant crowd, but tell me, elephant crowd, is it okay if their trunks are down? Should I, should I have gotten this guy? I'm going to leave him, but tell me if I should have gotten him and I will learn from that and I won't leave him behind next time. Please, Prosperity and Independence, 1989. Hmm. It's kind of cool. There is an unhappy child. This is interesting. G15967. It's $10. It's pretty. I just don't know if it's ten dollars pretty. Oh, she's got broken on her head. Little shelf sitter. This looks like a soapstone sculpture. Now I haven't done so good with these soapstone sculptures. I used to pick them up all the time. They are made in Kenya. But this one, ten bucks. I'm gonna leave it. Because nice matters. $3.99. Kind of like that. What is that? View. What? Are you glad? You are glass. Oh my goodness, you're glass. That's why you're in a bag because you have like. That's not even part of that. That is not part of that. That's. Probably should give that to somebody because that's a piece of glass somebody's going to get hurt on. So this is like a fused glass project piece. Almost like a slag glass. It's like somebody was learning. I'm not sure it has a lot of value. Just, I'm sorry to say, sorry to say. I don't think it's for us. I don't think it's for us. Oh, that's a bummer. I wish that wasn't broken. I kind of love those. Oh, that one's broken too. You know how I feel about my sea creatures. I'm a little behind adding a new video over to the niche lady critter cam. In case you didn't know, I have a second channel that is all about animals because uh, I have a lot of them. And pretty soon I'm going to be putting up my live aquarium cams, bird cams, tortoise cams, Bougie cam, that's my bird, and uh, all that fun stuff. So I would love it if you could go take a peek, and if you think it's something you might enjoy, 
give it a subscribe and watch a couple things. I'm uh, working on my way towards being monetized on that channel. But I'm really doing it to just share my animals and educate some and, and do all that critter stuff. Look at this humongous bag of vintage seam binding and hem tape. That is a great, great lot for somebody. I almost want to get it and just sell them for a buck a piece in the store, but I don't know if they're worth a buck a piece. I don't know. You sewers, tell me. Again, will I regret passing that by? Should I have grabbed that? Anybody mad at me right now? That's kind of a cool, like a wine basket with a mesh. It's a little bit worn. Actually, I don't know that it's worn as much as it's tarn. Oh, wait, it's signed. It's tarnished. Ooh, what does that say? <gasps> Christophe? It's, it's French. It's Christophe France. <gasps> well, that changes things. Uh, yeah, we'll grab that. Always look a little closer. Such a pretty piece. F.B. Rogers. It is red tagged 20 bucks. Red tag means there's no discount until they do their red tag sale. I think they do one once a month. And then they just do 50% off. And then if it doesn't sell, it's back here at full price. I'm kind of attracted to those. Let me see what you are. 10 bucks, that's what you are. I mean, they're kind of cool, but I'm not sure they're 10 bucks a piece cool for me. Oh, we'll leave those for somebody else. And keep looking. We will just keep a looking. And I'm not seeing. Oh, that's kind of a interesting goblet. No, not a single. Don't need it. What's that? Little metal. It's got a very mid-century vibe to it, although I don't think it is that old. It's purple. It's only a buck fifty. I don't know why I'm attracted to some of these things. I think it's because I've been watching Laura Caldwell, and after uh, kind of just hanging out with her a little bit and checking out how she picks things this kind of stuff now I see it in its use of wherever it's gonna be I think I'm gonna grab it for uh, what did I say a buck fifty yeah a buck fifty sure okay what is this who is that Jean Wright San Francisco 1974 if you look closely those are kittens Drinking milk. Oops, I guess if I didn't have a glare in there, you could see the kittens. Kittens drinking milk. I don't quite understand it. It's kind of interesting. And it's only $3.99. Let's grab that. Okay, what is this? Is it a planter? It's, I mean, I know it's an airplane, but what is its purpose? It's got a propeller. Kind of sweet but it's huge it's huge it's not something i could ship i'd have to sell this in the store um and for those that don't know i have my own space my own little boutique section inside the good stuff thrift store where a lot of these things that i purchase here i put them there i give them a chance to sell in person and then many things i put in my whatnot sale sometimes i go up on my boutique area and sell things straight from my boutique in my whatnot sales and I'm gonna have one of those coming up soon. So make sure you use the link that's down in the very first pinned comment. Come over and sign up for whatnot and claim your $15 to spend and check out what I sell over there. This is pretty, I know. You're like, pick it up already. Why aren't you looking at it, Danny? It's very pretty. Oh, the little chrysanthemums, is that what those are? I don't know who the maker is, but I'm really, really attracted to this piece. And it's $5.99, which I think is a good price. There's the mark. Oh, Danny, don't do that. My depth perception sometimes is a little off when I'm handling these things, but 
I am picking that up. I'm going to get that one. I see a box under here. It says Toll Ivory Candlestick Holder. Ivory Candlestick Holder. And it's... Is it just a giant candlestick holder? It pretty much is just a giant candlestick holder in a box. They came from Ikea. Huh. 24.99. Okie dokie, let's see. Be the maker. These are cute. Look at these little prints with the strawberries on the chair. Oh, look at they're on there. These are really cute. They're from Ashland. They were 20 bucks at Ashland. Now they're five bucks. I really, really like these. I'm going to grab them. Inside of here is a really, really cute little dog print box. I got to gotta pull them out of here though. He is $7.99. Let me, let me see if you're $7.99 worthy. Because I do really love that dog print. And it's got a little, it's very, very clean. A little organizer in there. I don't think it has a name. It just says, oh, it's made in the Philippines, not made in China. I don't know. Something about this is really calling to me. I'm going to grab it. Is that a dice box? It is a dice box for $4.99. Ooh, it rattled as if there's something in it. Oh, it's Liar's Dice Bluffing Game. And it's got the dice in it. And it's got the instructions in it. Well, how do you play that? You see, it's one dice and five, oh, a dice cup and five dice. Outbid, outbluff, outlast your opponent. Huh. I actually just really like the, um, the box it all comes in, actually, but I think I will leave that one for somebody who actually wants to play the game. Interesting box, but again, not, uh, not super quality or exciting. Ooh, project pieces. Yes, I can use the, oh, $10. Although, if I remember correctly, these are not cheap to buy, even like at Michael's or Hobby Lobby's, all of these little wood slabs, because we have actually purchased these before for a project. I think there's enough in here to make it worth my while to go ahead and get these for my little project. It's funny, I don't know if you can hear it, but our pollen count has been up exponentially here in uh, Las Vegas and uh, I'm losing my voice like <laughs> I'm losing my voice yesterday I had like a raging sinus headache and today I'm losing my voice oh my gosh look at this bird chicken thing I think it's a bird $3.99 no you gotta do $3.99 but you are kind of fun let's see if my voice holds out by the end of this video you never know. USA licenses. Oh, is this one of those? Oh, I thought it was like a game as you're traveling. Um, you turn it. I guess it is. Right? How do you play? How do you play this game, Melissa and Doug? It is. It's played while traveling. That's what I thought. And then when you see a license plate, you flip the tiles. Yeah. Okay. Thought so kind of fun. Relax. That's actually really cool for $3.99. I mean, it's not super high quality. It came from Walmart. I could probably get 10 to 12 for that. Do I want it? I kind of do. Oh, look, here's some more. Here's some more. Okay, I'm going to splurge. I don't know what these were for. I see some like little twine pieces in there oh it says unfinished natural crafts rustic wedding maybe to make like a banner or something but i'm gonna grab those oh my gosh and then the uh heavens opened up with crafting supplies for danny oh this one's only 8.99 and then this one is 9.99 all right we're grabbing them now 
my brain goes, what can I do with little wood slabs? I had not expected to find so many little wood slabs. It's a little parasol. It's a newer one though. Oh, somebody decoupaged a little something that's been torn out of there. That's too bad. Ooh, I see a lotus candle holder. They sell these at home goods a lot now. There was a day that they were selling for big money, but not so much anymore. Because now they're kind of just made in China, you know. And that one's not in the greatest of condition. I love my false books. Love them so much. This one's $12.99 though. Somebody else loves them too. All right, we'll leave those. Anything else on the shelf? I don't think so. Let us see what is on the seasonal shelf. I know I'm going to do a Christmas in July and it's ridiculous to think that that is not that far away now. I mean, we are almost to June, which I just, I don't even know what to think. Where did this year go already? Does that just happen as we get older? Like it just time just disappears. Cause I remember being a kid and it felt like a year was eternity. And now it just, whoo, it screams by. Look at this little gift co. I'm not exactly sure what it is and it's got tags like put all over it it's sweet but it's not old it's just made to look old but I see something I want oh you're $9.99 though I don't need you for $9.99 though as much as I do really 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 want you I don't know maybe I'll splurge I mean I don't talk about it often I do get a 20% discount um, all the rest of the days. So for personal use, I may claim this for uh, $8. Ooh. <laughs> if it is your first time watching one of my videos, yeah, I'm a little wacky and quirky and I love uh, interesting odd things. So <laughs> hit that subscribe button and you'll see me pick up a lot more stuff like that and uh, try to explain to you why I do it new sesco new sesco i do like the lemons and the fact that it's a set of three and they are little pour bowls lemons are pretty popular right now it's there's no there's a little cra crazing but i almost think it might be intentional too i don't think so i don't think i don't know what do you think intentional or not i don't know but I know I like the price at $6.99. Let's grab them. It's this little set. Double jam server design pack. Probably have the little jams in there, it looks like. At the bottom at one point. That's really sweet. I'm, I'm looking for a date. You would think if it had jam, there would be a date on here somewhere. But this is the only writing on the whole thing and I don't see it I see product of Australia though which is interesting oh here we go 2002 so that's vintage how much is it ah no price we'll have to find out at the register and if you stay all the way to the end of the video I do a recap of everything I purchase and let you know how much I spent how much it's worth and if I had to identify it, you'll learn what the name of it is. All right. Nothing more on that shelf. Let's move to the next one. Is that Avon? It is Avon. Look at that. $7.99 for Avon? Ooh. Somebody think Avon's making a comeback? Wouldn't that be nice? I would like to see that. Okay, that is a really... <laughs> intriguing Santa Claus looks like uh, he was attached to something else he's like oh little birds all broken okay he's interesting he's interesting for sure we've got some more pieces over here these are Silvestri which can be a good name they are the 12 days of Christmas 
what do you think the chances of them all oh they're $14.99 a piece so I mean they are vintage they're Silvestri but to get the 12 days of Christmas if all 12 are here $15 times 12 that'd be a little that'd be a little pricey we'll do we'll do a little look up on these and pop it on the screen for you so you can see if they're worth picking up if you know you're in the area I'm at the Rainbow Goodwill come by grab them if you want them that's a nice little wooden ornament in there I kind of like the carousel heart I like those little wooden ornaments made in Taiwan so that's our vintage but they are not super exciting to me I will leave those for somebody else I did find a fabulous blue bristle tree look at him for $2.99 I will take you let's go see what that is hello beautiful tell me more about you $12.99 I don't know if that's a marriage. It's a it's a contemporary piece. Again, it's like a, a home goods piece. It's pretty. It's very, very pretty. But that we will leave at that price. That doesn't work for me. But somebody will grab that for some home decor because it's beautiful. What's this with the gold edge? That looks like an old gold edge along this vase generally see glasses with that gold edge not a vase so this is intriguing they do want ten dollars for it though without knowing more about it I'm gonna leave that one but again I'll do a little research if I can find it and pop it on the screen for you come back and grab it if you're a reseller and I find out it's worth something hmm that's an interesting piece let's look at the bottom oh no that's a cheap cheap bottom so what you want to look at you want to look for age you want to look for signs that it's a quality piece this actually looks like a painted piece of glass it is not pottery that is a child's dish would be three dollars it's super heavy i just don't know that there's much appeal for these just don't know it's even got the plugs though which is interesting I think I'm gonna leave that one I'm gonna leave it oh Jeannie made that Jeannie made that little piece right there oh look at the blue glass you know I'm a sucker for a nice piece of blue glass Let's look and see if these, any of these could be quality. Flashed, flat, well, I, okay, I stand corrected. Not flashed, stained. There is a difference. Authentic recycled glass. This piece is actually the color of the glass in this block pattern. Let's see what that says on there. It's recycled glass as well. It just says M recycled glass. It is $7.99 though. And it's missing it would have had a stopper so i think we're gonna pass on the blue glass this piece of purple glass see the little indented bottom the pontal there that's usually a highly manufactured piece it can be hand blown but it's hand blown in a hurry okay wow We've got the black shelf here. Holy moly, look at all the black vases. And are they painted? I think they're all painted. Somebody painted all of these vases black. Must have been for an event or a party or something. I mean, it's not a bad look, but uh, we definitely don't need that. Let's see who you are. Very, very thin. Uh, ceramic can you hear that it does not have a good quality sound to it so we'll leave that one. Oh my gosh <laughs> hello honey uh, you look like you have held a bottle of wine or two and you are $12.99 uh, goodness 
I think they sell in like the 20 to maybe $30 range. So he's right borderline where I could make a little money on him, but he's pretty fabulous, don't you agree? Do I need to rescue him? I feel like I do. A couple of interesting pieces up top here. Again, they look like a home goods. Yep, look at that. Home goods. Very pretty though, like pretty home goods. Like almost something that I would buy and put in my home home goods. Not bad at all. $4.99 for this guy. I kind of like him. I feel like Noah would like this one too. I think I'll grab him. Now these blue pieces are very contemporary, but man, they're pretty. I do like them, but I don't need them. I don't need them, and I'm going to walk away. On the end cap here is a whole little bag of these little miniature rosebuds, and I'm feeling like this may have a place in my project as well. So let's go ahead and grab this. All right, this is the plastics aisle, which we will go down fairly quickly, but I never skip it because I have found some pretty good things in the plastic aisle, including some of the very collectible uh, melamine and Tupperware and Disney uh, tumblers and things. So those are the kind of things I'm looking for when I'm going through the plastics, but I don't see anything today except maybe, maybe these little vintage canisters that are made by Shineco. C-H-E-I-N-C-O. These are definitely vintage. $2.99 each. $2.99 each. They're kind of cool. I think I will grab them. And next to them is a lamp. It's a lamp for $5.99. Uh, it's a newer lamp, but that is a glass shade. I feel like that's got to be worth at least 20 bucks. I'm going to grab that too. See this peeking out here. Look at that. Oh, yes, indeed. A little, what do they call these in their blank form? It's not a typesetter tray. This is specifically made to make like a little, uh, like a little uh, collection of sorts. How much are you? $7.99? We'll grab you. And now we are in the bowls and the dishes. Ooh, look at that red rose plate. That's pretty striking. We've got a very, um, it's a its a reproduction. It's, it's probably like a 70s, 80s reproduction, or maybe 80s, 90s of the, the dolphin cherub boy. It's just not very well done. I think we will leave that one. Oh, those are cute plates. Who makes you? They look Polish. Are they? No, they're epic. Antique bouquet made in Korea. They looked like Polish pottery, didn't they? Definitely, definitely have the look. Let's see what's down here. I don't think I see anything else. One last chance. Yeah, teacups. Nope, we'll pass. All right, we are in the mugs. Oh, look at these guys. Oh my goodness. They're $1.99 each. They are well used, unfortunately. Scratched. Okay, kitties, I gotta leave you. Reluctantly, because you're kind of cool. Oh, I see ya. Toucan mug, very cheaply made. He is only a dollar. He's a Bergschrund, Seattle, 1990. But he's got a chip. He's got a chip. He's got a chip. Can't do it. My kids have paws too. Well, I mean, I have kids with hands and feet, but I have kids with paws too. $3.99. Spectrum Designs can sell pretty good. Again, it's like a it's like a home goods brand. Uh, what makes it sell good is that. There is a whole generation that that's really all they know in the decorating realm. 
and they are drawn to it and they will pay for it uh, because they know what it costs new. So don't disregard it. A giraffe with flowers for 99 cents. I can get behind that. Look at these orange enameled mugs. They do have a little bit of damage to them, but they are only 99 cents each and the color is so fab, I'm gonna grab them. Oh, I spotted another kitten mug. He is playing with a feather. He's $1.99. He, okay, he will clean up. Yep, we're gonna grab him. All right, let's check out the glassware. You see that cute little jar up there. I like it, but I think I'm gonna leave that one for now. But this is perfect for one of my project pieces. Oh my gosh, this is exactly the type of foundation piece I'm looking for. And it's only 99 cents. Are you getting curious about what I'm gonna make? Well, again, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, because it'll be coming soon. I know some of you are like, but what about your mushroom project? Yes, mushroom project's gonna happen too, especially when I get my own house, my very own house, where I know the mushrooms will be my decor and stay forever. They're in, all my mushroom project pieces are in storage. That's what happened. So as soon as those come out of storage, when I move, I'm gonna be back to the mushroom project as well. Those, those are pretty. I don't know how old they are, but those are strikingly pretty and there is it's r is r is there is is a pair because a pair is one uh so it's a weird english grammar thing right it should be there's two so it should be plural there are but no it's is anyway uh, <laughs> i like these i like these for a dollar 99 each well the good thing is if they don't have any boxes i got boxes in my car See if we can find anything else, but I don't think so. It would appear that people are buying this stuff. I see less and less on the shelves every time. So good for them. Dollar ninety nine for a little uh, Warner Brothers uh, nineteen seventy four juice glass. Trying to see if those lines are meant to be. I think so. Look at she's smacking him with the broom. It's so abusive. <laughs> oh my gosh. Cartoons. Cartoons were so bad. So bad back then. I think I'll grab that for a buck ninety-nine. See something here that's really sweet. Give us this day our daily bread plate. Oh, it's purple too. It's been here a while. It's just two dollars. I will have a hard time leaving this behind knowing that its next stop would be the bins. So uh, I'm gonna grab that for two dollars. Let's see what this is. What is that? Hand blown Two's Company. Hmm. It's kind of neat. <gasps> that is EAPG, also known as Early American Pressed Glass. It has an etched fern pattern in here that should be fairly easy to look up and find the pattern. Why does it seem crooked though? That has me concerned. Is this a marriage? Did oh no, stand by. Okay, I thought somebody may have like glued two pieces together, but it's not. It's just, it's made crooked. This is really gonna mess with my OCD, I gotta tell you. Because otherwise it's a fabulous piece, but I just, I can't get around that. My brain isn't letting me. I mean, I'm gonna research it when I'm editing this video and if it ends up being worth, you know, a lot of money, maybe I'll sneak back tomorrow and get it. But I don't, I don't, most EAPG isn't worth a ton. There are some patterns, you know, that are really, really rare. But for the most part, they're pretty, 
pretty standard. These canisters caught my attention. There is two of them. No, it's there are two of them. See, I messed it up. Messed it up that time. Let me see if I can look at the bottom here. Threshold. You are just a Target brand. Very nice though. Very pretty. There are fishies on that. It's probably Studio Nova, I'm guessing. Because they use the color versus Mikasa, who if it was Mikasa, it would be more like just a frosted. It's another cool set of canister jars with little wooden lids. $5.99, $7.99. I think we'll leave those. Oh, that set's still here. $20 because it's red tag. I think their sale is coming up though. So we'll see. The next time I come here will be after their red tag sale and we'll see if it's sold or if it's still here. These are pretty little, uh, I think these are little sushi dishes. $3.99 a set. Oh, what else do we have here? What are you? Oh, you're blank on that. Why are you just a blank, just a little blank porcelain vase piece? That's okay. Different, different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More canisters. Nice dog bowls. They're Gibson. See a little birdhouse creamer. Thompson pottery. Somebody peeled the tag off. I oh, and it looks like it even had a purple tag, but it's hard to say. Oh, it's damaged right there. That's too bad. We will have to leave it with that damage. Oh, I see a little birdie cell for $2.99. Oh, I thought they were salt and peppers. They're not salt and peppers. They're just cute little birdies for $2.99. Let's grab those look closely in here because there could be some hidden treasures. There's a lot of stuff on this shelf. Little glass paperweight. I don't know what that scene is. Look at this. Just a pair of coasters. What? Oh, United Healthcare. They're like advertising ones, so that's why they only put two. I see two sets of these Sarah Payton glass coasters. Those are kind of nice. It's behind here. Oh, I don't see anything there. Mm -hmm. All right, I think uh, we found the good stuff off these shelves already. And then just as I'm rounding the corner, I look up and I see these. But what are they? Little, I don't know. I thought they were salt and peppers, but they're, they're not. And there's these little lids and I don't know what's inside those little lids. I mean, they're sweet, but I think I'm gonna leave them because I don't know what they are. All right, we got more kitchen stuff. This is more the cookware, got rolling pins, but nothing old. I look for the red handles on the wood ones. There's a piece of pottery that looks interesting. Hmm has a very rustic look to it, but I don't know if it has a very desirable rustic look to it. Again, this is a piece I'm going to leave and you can let me know down in the comments. Did I make a mistake? Should I have grabbed that? Would you have grabbed that? Knife set. And then we got a whole bunch of small appliances. I am discovering that my cart is getting a little heavy. <laughs> Got a lot of stuff in there. Did not anticipate that happening. These look like little Jenga blocks. Not really anything I can do anything with. Ooh, lots of photo albums. 
I'm not even sure people use photo albums anymore. Everything's like going to digital. There's going to be a time when uh, everything's digital. It's almost inevitable. Darling Donkey's Cling Stamp Set. What are cling stamps? They're stamping up. But I don't know what a cling stamp is. Hmm. We will leave those for somebody who knows what a cling stamp is and would be excited to find them. Ooh, I see Star Wars lights. $12.99 though. I am not sure they are worth buying for $12.99. Not for me anyway. So we'll leave those for somebody else. Oh, it's a little rose uh, jewelry box. Actually, I think Brenda has some of these for sale in her booth at the store. Hmm. Again, for those who might not know, I do have a store here in the Las Vegas Valley. It is called the Good Stuff Thrift Store. And we are a little unique in that we are a thrift shop co-op where we partner with five different nonprofits. And uh, I need these. I need these to ship uh, jewelry. Uh, and uh, they bring in the goods. We sell it like a traditional thrift store. But we also have like a little mini antique mall along the sides. So we have right now 14 different vendors who bring in stuff on a weekly basis and uh, it's some pretty fun stuff. So if you are ever in Las Vegas, I hope you will take a chance to come by, check it out. We're at 1401 North Decatur Boulevard and that is Cross Streets uh, Decatur and Vegas Drive. I'm looking at this. Unfortunately, I do see lots of broken pieces. That's what I didn't see at first. And I was like, oh, it has a very anthropology look. But it is broken. So we must leave it. Tessia. Limon. It is Italian. Thought so. I don't know. It's kind of scratched up. I'm was was trying to overcome the scratches and I just couldn't. I couldn't overcome it. All right, that's it for this row. Let's see what we've got in the pet department. No, yeah, nothing that we need today. Car stuff, household goods. You never know what you're going to find. You gotta look at everything. Do you see it? I mean, if you're gonna buy a bunch of them, buy them all. We found another one of the chairs, so we'll add that into our already very full cart. Yes, aren't they cute? Yeah, I got them all. They're in there, yep. They are, but they're just cute. Yeah. Woo! Everything's landing on the floor here. There we go. No art was harmed in the making of this video. Get in there. All right. Goodness. I agree. So I was talking to a lady, she came by and she had those uh, really beautiful vases that I passed by and it just uh, did my heart good to see they were gonna go to a home and not end up being broken here at the store. So we got to talking just a little bit. She liked the little chair prints that I found. So I found this Sue Davis 1987 print of a cat and a unicorn and I love it. It's uh, $2.99 so we'll grab that. I'm getting away from the bigger art and coming over here to the small art. It's a little more manageable if I find small art. 
Although we do sell a lot of art at the store. I'm surprised how much art we sell. It's kind of fun. Yayas are a group of three or more women whose hearts and souls are joined together by laughter and tears shared through the glorious journey of life. That's cool. That is cool. Coffee. The words you are looking for are, yes, dear. <laughs> Hmm, I don't really see anything calling me. A little quill work clown. I just don't do well with clowns. People either love them or hate them. There's no middle ground with clowns. Okay. There are a couple of interesting lamps, but I can tell by the cord. That's a newer one. It's glass, not pottery. Pottery would have really intrigued me. This one's kind of cool too, but it's it's not super desirable. It's just kind of cool. Any scentsies over here? There's a scentsy, but it's missing. I only buy them with the tops now. Every time I bought one without the top, I've never been able to replace the top, and I have tried. All right, let's peek through the pillows. I don't see anything calling me. Mmm, nope. No vocal pillows today. Alright, let's peek through the toys and the plush. Oh my, oh my. Uh, one of the things that I have noticed that I have stored a lot of plush, thinking I was going to get my plush eBay store back up and running, and I just haven't. So I think I'm going to start clearancing my plush over on whatnot. I think I'm going to do it. I need to schedule a plush show and just buckle down because I need the space at the store. Oh my gosh, he's funny. Who are you? You're Disney's Tito, 1988 from, oh, he's from Oliver and Company. He's $3.99. He's amazing. I want to grab him. And yet I cannot pass up a good plush. I just can't. But yeah, I am going to clear down my plush and uh, get it under control. And I am closing my plush store over on eBay that I just don't have time to run. Let's see what this guy is. Oh, he's a little dinosaur dude. Don't know. what. Oh, don't fall, tiger. No, I don't see anything else up here for us today. Oh, look what I found. I found a Haunted Mansion Disney game for $4.99. It feels pretty heavy, so I think it's all there. I want to actually play this one with the kids. Oh, look, it's sealed. It's all there. It's never been opened. It's brand new. Yay. That is quite the pre precarious stack of games um that's uh a little bit dangerous i think we are gonna make a last stop over here at the purses see if there's anything to throw in one of my next whatnot purse sales that's been a really fun place to kind of get outside of my normal niche of like the vintage and antique and the glass and the pottery I do sell that over there, but I also love to do a purse sale. I love to do jewelry sales. I love to do Disney sales. I love to just like niche it up over there just for a, an hour or two and sell what I got that I've been able to find at a good bargain. I see a Love Betsy, Betsy Johnson piece. It's $25. It is super adorable, but uh, we have to leave her for $25. I haven't had good luck finding purses at Goodwill lately. Um, they're just at a price point that doesn't work for me. So we always look, always hope, but we've been coming away pretty empty handed lately. So never worry. I have other places to buy purses. That sale will fill up. Okay, we're going to call it a night. 
Stay tuned for that recap I told you about earlier. It's coming up. I'm going to tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. That is happening right now. truly was a lucky card oh my goodness and it was only well you've seen the recap uh, the total was somewhere around like 160 160 something uh, which for everything that I got is an incredible incredible deal I am so excited all right well the kids are hungry uh, I know I'm trying to break this fast food habit but I am gonna grab a little Del Taco because it's right here in the same parking lot and head home and spend the rest of the evening with the kids and the pets and all that's still awake. Birds and tortoises go to bed at night. Oh, and fish do too. They all go to bed when the sun goes down. Could we learn from them? I don't know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. You know uh, you are the specialist to me. Um, I know that was really poor grammar, but I also know those of you who watch all the way to the end are not the ones that are going to pick apart my grammar. All right. Love you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Now go be profitable and make it fun. Yeah.